Today, we're going to be discussing the ability for agents to key in active hail policies in EasyWriter Pro. This feature allows for them to key in policies, commit and activate the policies, and print their own crop hail documents. This feature is available for both standalone hail and easy hail by privilege. My name is Hope Floberg, and I am with the IT Marketing and Training Department here at NAU Country Insurance Company, and we're going to get started. To begin, we're going to start with a standalone hail policy initiated through EasyQuote. As you can see on my screen, I am logged in as an agent, and I am going to first of all begin by going up to the top menu and clicking on the EasyQuote link. Once EasyQuote is up on your screen, we're going to select the Hail folder. As the Hail line attribute screen appears on our EasyQuote window, we are going to fill in the applicable information for our Hail quote. Once our information is populated on the Hail line attribute screen, we'll click Save down at the bottom. At this point in time, I'm going to flip back to our full farm view, as you can see up at the top part of the screen. Here, I can now continue to add Hail lines if I choose to do so. If this is, information is complete and I would like to submit a application and therefore turn on an active hail policy, I can now go up to the application window at the top of the screen and select hail application. The hail application wizard will allow you to fill in your applicant information, which I will do so now. Don't forget to fill in your person type at the top of the screen. And I will click Save. I will then go to my agency information. At this point in time, you can either fill in this info or you can wait until you pull it into EasyWriter Pro and it will automatically pull for you. For the application information, I'm going to come in here and I will select my policy type of crop hail because we're going to demonstrate the standalone. My application type will be new. And I can leave the MPCI policy number blank for now, or I can fill it in if I know it. At this point in time, I will answer the four crop hail application questions. And then you can also do your signature information here as well. If you would like to print this information out for an insured to sign, you can go down to view PDF and select that option. At that point in time, when the crop hail application comes up on your screen, you can print it and send it off to your insured. For now, I'm going to hit the Submit button. As this information carries into my HAIL application wizard, you can see that I still have a temporary policy notated at the top of the screen. That is okay because we have not yet changed this to an active policy. Once you get to this window, you need to fill in the applicable information that was not already pre-populated from the quoting system. And then down at the bottom, you do need to relate this crop hail policy to an MPCI policy. Once your information is filled in, you can click Apply in the lower left-hand corner. As you can see, a pop-up screen will come up on your window and tell you your new policy number. At this point in time, I am going to go in and edit the policy now. Now you can see we're in our crop hail policy, and you can see that my quote line has pulled in from EasyQuote. If I wish to change or add new lines at this time, I can do so by coming down to Hail Lines, clicking that icon and adding another line onto my crop hail policy. 
these fields will allow you to forward type or to select from a drop down box. If you are in this window and you make an error, the system is going to let you know by giving you a red circle. So I'm going to just do an error intentionally here so you can see what I'm talking about. As you can see for a share percent, I have keyed in 150%. When I tab off that field, you can see that I have a red circle that has appeared. As I hover over that red circle, it will tell me in the tooltip what the problem is. I'm going to leave that as an error for just one moment because just in case you don't catch it at this point in time, after you've entered in all of your crop hail lines and you come up and hit the save option, you'll see you'll also get an error up here as well that lets you know that, again, my share percent is not correct. I'm going to close out of that, come back down to my share percent, and adjust. Once your crop hail lines are entered in on your policy, you can now come up and if you didn't do so already in easy quote, you can print your application right from the crop hail screen. I'm just going to show you what that looks like. You do normally want to save your changes prior to doing your application. When you select print application, you can see your two new lines are displaying on your application. And again, you can print this and send off for signatures. At this point in time, if all of your information is accurate, I am now going to show you how you can commit and activate your policy. So we'll come up here to the top left corner where it says commit and select commit. This is our new agent commit endorsement screen. Starting on the right hand side, you can see that our policy status is still in a temporary status. If we want to change that to active, we just select the radio button that corresponds to the active policy. We do need to enter in our prior notification information, and this is the information or the time and date that you have contacted an NAU country personnel to let them know about the HAIL policy. The send to field is for you to fill in who you spoke with. Down in the endorsement effective field, you'll notice that we do need to fill in our signature agent and also that the signature date and email and fax time are grayed out. This will be adjusted once an NAU country personnel has reviewed your prior notification information and once they've done so, they'll go in and adjust these dates and times. Now that the policy is active, you can also come over to the left hand side of the screen and if you choose to create a crop health schedule, you can do that by checking the box and also you can include your provisions in your printout as well. Down at the bottom of the screen here, you can also see all of your policy totals. Once you have all the required information in, come down to the the bottom of the window and select commit. You have now entered a standalone HAIL policy. Thank you so much for joining me today.